Hey guys, it is Susie. Uh, I am a paparazzi consultant. I've been one for about three years now. And I am doing this training today for my team and I'm posting it out for anybody who is interested in learning about a workflow. Um, you, you get into the business of paparazzi and you're like, yay, I show my jewelry I, and I sell it. And that's what I do. And we all know, um, hopefully you all know the difference between your personal page, a Facebook page, which is your business page, and a Facebook group, which is like your VIP shopping group. Because I'm going to talk about those a little bit. If not, make sure you Google that and find out the difference. Um, so that you know there's really big difference. Maybe I'll do a video on that, the difference here soon. But anyway, I wanted to talk about DMO, daily method of operation. This is going to get you and keep you laser focused. Girls, our business is on Facebook and you can get so sucked in to Facebook if you do not have a daily method of operation to keep you focused. And I actually printed out and I print out every single week one of these and I work off of them. And I'm gonna to talk to you really quick about these DMOs and why they're so important. Now, it can take you 30 minutes a day to do this. And listen, if you're a consultant with me on my team, you know that when we first started that I always ask you, listen, can you give me two hours a day for your business? Think about if McDonald's was only open two hours a day. They wouldn't have much business, okay? And so our business, our storefront is Facebook. And if you're not opening the doors every day, then people don't know that your store is open. And by opening your doors, I mean getting on Facebook and doing the exact same things that I'm going to tell you to do here, okay? So I, this has truly, truly helped to increase my live sales, increase my um, website sales because I do have an online boutique um, separate of the paparazzi boutique. It has is, is increased that um, and it has increased my viewers and my new customers. So like everything that makes us money as paparazzi consultants, this daily method of operation when done every single day will help you. It can't not guys. It has worked so well for me. Um, so Talking about keeping your storefront open every day, here's 30 minutes I want you to try and do, okay? The first thing is post to your personal profile every single day. Those posts need to be, number one, either educational, entertaining, light and funny, nothing negative or nasty or you got to keep the politics off of your, your personal page. I know it's your personal page, but you're now a business owner and your business is Facebook. Okay. So just imagine putting political posters and maybe some nasty, I don't know, memes or whatever, all over the front windows of your storefront. You have to think of it as that. Okay. Your personal page, your business page, and your VIP group. So you want to post something entertaining, something educational, or you can do something that's lifestyle-ish. So what I mean by that is my, I, I'm able to now work my business from home so I can go and get my nails done at noon on a Tuesday. My daughter homeschools so she can come with me and get her nails done at noon on a Tuesday. And so I'll post a picture with a time and mention something like, I'm so glad that my business allows me the opportunity to have special memories like this with my daughter on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, that shows people the lifestyle that your business is affording you. Now, let me tell you, I post things about my business that it's maybe not affording me every single day and every single week, but I'm definitely working towards it. It is on my vision board and this is where my, my vision and my business is headed and it's what I know is possible. I'm not lying. I'm not making anything up. It is true for that moment and it is true for my business. So be honest about it. You don't want to claim anything that's not true for you, but it's so true for me because I know this is exactly where I'm headed and you have to have that belief system. So number one, you want to post on your personal timeline, entertainment, education, or lifestyle. Number two, add three friends to Facebook, interact, comment, ask questions. Now, that doesn't mean just pulling up the people that Facebook says, hey, you may have something in common with and adding them. What I do is I go and I find someone who is a friend of mine who is super awesome, absolutely love this person, and they have a lot of friends. 
and I click on their friends list if it's if it's uh, public. And I'll go down and see people who we have in common as friends. And when I come across somebody who maybe we are, excuse me, who we are not connected, I will actually click on that, look at their Facebook page, see who else maybe we have in common as friends, and see if we truly could be connected. Be genuine about this. Don't just go blatantly inviting everyone. Um, be selective. Take 10 minutes a day to do this. So I'll go in and I'll see someone and I will um, invite them to be my friend. Invite. I will request for them to be my friend. And then if I can click on their, their profile, I'll click on their profile and maybe look at two or three posts and comment on one of them. Maybe there's a picture of them with their dog. You can comment, oh my gosh, your dog is so cute. How old is she? Or you know, if you get to stay home with with your little one and I don't know, you're having a hard time with, with nap time and she's actually got her baby to sleep. Oh my gosh, how do you get your baby to sleep like that? I'm struggling right now. Whatever it is that you genuinely have something in common with, comment on that. It's going to get you connected. Ask a question so that the person will comment back. Okay? Because as soon as you post a question and they comment back, you are linked on Facebook, the algorithm. We're talked about the algorithm, okay? You say, hey, your dog is so cute. Is it a boy or a girl? And she said, it's a girl. You're linked. Now, you want to be locked? What's her name? Ask another question, okay? So that interaction needs to happen within 24 hours. Now, not only is that going to link the person and you're going to start seeing them in your newsfeed, they're going to start seeing you in their newsfeed. Also, this is so important to do, especially on the nights that you go live. Very, very important to do this, to just really bump up your algorithm. It works. Do these tips. I promise you they will work. Um, number three is check messenger messages if you have any messages from your customers. Um, number four, if you have any text messages, I use a text alert type system. And so go in, I go in there and check every day to see if anybody has texted me through there. Um, Welcome new VIP members. So if you have a VIP group, I'm sorry, my glasses keep, keep slipping. If you have VIP, if you have a VIP group and people join your group, when you click on your Facebook group and there's new people right on the right hand side, it is going to say you have one new member, you have five new members, whatever it is. Click on that and welcome them. Okay, so when I do this, I personally immediately take a picture of myself whatever it is, you know, and I do have a file of pictures on my Facebook page that at any time I can grab really quick and use, not on my Facebook page, on my computer, on my desktop, that I can quickly use to say, hey, I am so excited to get to know you better. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, we are going to have so much fun. Thanks for joining us. Uh, be sure to check out the pinned post at the top of the group to see all the benefits of being part of my group. You're going to need to do that pin post. And if you have questions, you can, you know, ask me if you're on my team what that means or go look at mine. Um, so you want to make sure to invite people. People had to request to join your group. Okay, they're invited and they had to accept the invite or they had to go in and find you and request. Welcome them. If someone came knocking at your door to, to buy something um, or to look in your store, you wouldn't not welcome them, right? So it's the same thing, same exact thing on Facebook. Um, the next thing is wish your friends happy birthday. Now, that's something that I am not huge on because people get overwhelmed because when you go in, you can click on events and then birthdays. And if you click on that, it'll tell you all your friends that have birthdays. Um, so many people, it's an automatic thing and it comes up, it's so-and-so's birthday, wish them a happy birthday. And when you click on it, it says happy birthday. So if it's your birthday, you've gotten 500 happy birthdays. Now listen, if this is something that you want to do, go ahead and do it, but be genuine. Go on their page and say, happy birthday. I pray 2020 brings you, you know, celebration and success. Nice to see your face. Something genuine, not just a, a generic happy birthday. It's not worth your time. What you could do is also under events, you can see when it's someone's anniversary or if someone posts about their anniversary or they post about an event in their life that's happening. If you go in and you genuinely make a sincere comment 
that is going to help your, your algorithm. If you uh, have a conversation in Messenger with somebody, that is going to help your algorithm. Okay, reach out to five old friends on Facebook. So if you go into your Facebook page, your personal page, you're going to see friends and it's going to tell you all your friends. If you click on that and you scroll down, you're going to see the list of all your friends that you have. Go on down until you see somebody you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen her on Facebook in a while. Click on that. First thing you want to do is check and see when the last time was that they were active on Facebook because you don't want to spend your time um, asking a question to somebody who has not posted or been on Facebook in six months. So you want to go on down and find somebody who was active recently in the last 24 to 48 hours and find a post within the top five things that they've posted recently and comment on it. Start a conversation. Just like adding three new friends, how I started that conversation, you want to do this. I had a friend recently post um, a book that she was reading, a new, a new book from the series she was reading came out and she was saying how excited she was. I'm a book reader. I love to be in book clubs. And so I was like, oh my gosh, have you read this yet? And she said, no, it's new. Uh, it's in the series, but it's a great series. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's it about? I love series. We had a conversation. That night she showed up on my live and she has not been on my lives in months. Okay, it works, you guys, when you work it, but you have to work it. Um, so five friends you want to do that with. More if you have time during the day. Um, you want to post on your business page. Okay, so we just posted on our personal page. You want to move over to your business page and you want to post something educational or something entertaining. Now, what I highly suggest you do is that you space these out. Personal page, business page, and your VIP group so that they're hitting at different times during the day. Um, and you can schedule those, you guys. You can schedule all your posts, okay? Except for on your personal page. You can't schedule anything on your personal page, but you can on your business page and you can in a group. So I highly suggest that. So on your business page, what would, what would you do? Um, you would post pictures of your jewelry. You would post your policies. You would post any specials that you have. Go ahead and post a question. What's your favorite type of jewelry, earrings or bracelets? Get people talking. That's an engagement question. Um, show people how to layer jewelry. Maybe do a little video on how to layer jewelry. Maybe do a little video on how to make your rings bigger or smaller. Anything that is good content for your um, followers to, to be able to see. So educational or entertaining, okay? Make sure educational on your business and what it is that you do and what you offer or something entertaining also. Um, then you would post on your VIP page. Same idea. Educate, entertain, and also do contests. I keep all of my contests in my VIP group. If you want to win jewelry from me, you have to be part of my VIP group because I am working slowly over to running contests on my business page, but you have to be in the VIP group to claim it because this is, I'll run a contest here, but you got to be here to see that you've won it and you have, you have to be part of my group. So that gets people into my group and I only announce them over here on, in my group, um, so that helps to kind of move people over too, but keep it really special. Um, in my VIP group, I have a list of five things that if you're a VIP member, I call it pink access. You get these different privileges that other people who just buy, you know, from the regular Adorn Me page and they're not a VIP member, um, they, they wouldn't get those things. Um, the next one is work your Facebook algorithm. Comment on 10 friends' posts who you have not seen on Facebook in a while. So this is really working your algorithm. So I have this down as an everyday thing. It's kind of doubling up on the, the three new people and the five uh, old friends that you haven't talked to. This is 10 people. It can be people that you see regularly also. But especially do this, ladies, when you are going live. Especially when you're going live. Make sure that you do this next one. Um, after that... Watch a training video. Now, when I was working full-time, every single day when I got into the shower, or excuse me, when I got out of the shower, while I was putting on my makeup and doing my hair, I was on YouTube watching videos of elite leaders, watching videos just like this and learning something new every single day. You have got to get yourself 
in a habit of every single day trying to learn something new. What you could learn is, um, I learned that this is a great book that I can use for my business from another elite leader. I ordered it and I'm learning some great things here that I can use on my lives. You can learn so many different things, but you've got to get 10 minutes of education or self-improvement or motivation every single day to get you over those days when you don't want to do it. I guarantee you, if you give it 10 minutes, you're going to be pumped to do your business. Maybe you're on your way home from work and you know you've got a few minutes. You know, maybe before the kids come home or dinner and you know you've got an hour, listen to it on the way home and then spend that power hour after you're really motivated or put the kids to bed. Ugh, I'd rather just sit down and watch, I don't know, some show that you all watch. Take, be disciplined and take that 10 minutes and I guarantee you after that 10 minutes, you're going to want to go and do your DMOs and work your business, but you've got to carve it out. It is non-negotiable. It's part of what you do every day. Um, do your sales approach every single day. This is a business and if you don't do sales every day, you're not going to have a business. So what does that mean? That means you're either doing a live sale a short speed sale, you're posting pictures, you are posting an album, um, you have somebody who is hosting an event for you that day, or you have your bling bag with you and you're handing out business cards and showing people jewelry that's in your bag during lunch hour, or you have somebody who has a bling box out. So those are seven different ways that your business is open for business every day. So that's your sales approach. You want to make sure that you're doing something every day. Hand out five business cards. When you're out and about, ladies, hand those business cards out like they're candy. Oh, and with that, I have a video here that shows you what I do with my business cards. I put them in a little organza bag with candy. People will take the candy, and then they see the card, and they're like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, if someone purchases from your paparazzi replicated website, you will get an email, so make sure you're checking your business email. And make sure you reach out to them and thank them personally for ordering from you and ask, let them know if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If they are not part of your VIP group or they have not liked your business page, make sure that they have that information to get connected with you. The next one is 30 minutes of organization. We all love to do that. Organize our offices, right? Like get our jewelry all organized. So take that minute, that time, that 30 minutes and organize whatever it is that you need to organize. Um, post on your team page. So I have a team. So if you have one person on, if you have nobody under you, make a team page and start doing these videos because you know what? By the time you have someone, it's too late. You want to have some education to give a welcoming video. That's like a simple welcoming video with the top. Go right down the um, consultant starter list uh, sheet in a video for them. So you have something and then plug them in here. Okay. Uh, the next thing is team training, what I'm doing today. I'm getting ready to cross this off my list. And uh, number 20 is work on an event that you have coming up. Now, because I do this full time, I carve out 30 minutes a day to work on one of the events that I have coming up, whether it's a flyer or a post or I don't know, whatever it is that I need to work on for that event. I'm doing a big Valentine's Day event coming up, so I kind of need to, to carve out some time for that. And last but not least, check your upline groups. Now, you all should, who are in my group, be added to our uplines group and um, make sure you're checking that out, as well as the Paparazzi Accessories Facebook group and page. Make sure you're checking that out. Make sure you're checking the Dorks Facebook page, the Paparazzi Leaders Facebook page. I mean, there is so much out there for you. You just have to go out there and grab it. And I'll tell you, this takes 30 minutes not barring the 30 minutes if you're going to organize and the 30 minutes if you're going to work on an event <laughs> those are just extras but going through and working your algorithm and opening up your business that sheet should take you 30 minutes okay so i really hope that this helps you guys get focused and i will put a link to this dmo sheet um down at the bottom please feel Feel free to share this video with anyone you think would enjoy it. You can like and comment, all that fun stuff. Subscribe, ding the bell, whatever it is. But um, I'm going to continue to put out content like this because this is what helped me to get where I'm at. And I just want to pay it forward. So to my team, I am so proud of you for watching till the end of this. And if you have any questions, get a hold of me. You guys have a great day. Bye.